excellent stump. Oh dear. Well, that's frustration, purely frustration. Excellent bowling by Mura Litterin. And that's a lack of patience and discipline by Mark Butcher. Beautifully done by Sri Lanka, but uh, just ask the question, uh, should he have shown a little bit more patience, stay at home, play from the crease, you don't want to lose early wickets. Often he comes in with the spinners in operation. Comprehensively beaten by the turn from Murla Turin. <laughs> Trapped on the back foot. So often it happens. 100 in the first innings, followed by nothing in the second. This is a great piece of bowling. Much quicker. Look how much quicker that is, but it still turns. Unbelievable turn he gets. And he's so far back, Graham Hick. I'm afraid uh, Eddie Nichols has to give that one out. So very good bowling. Sri Lankans doing it all right at the moment. They really are attacking. <laughs> Straight into the hands of Silly Point. The change of ends has worked the magic. Steve James has gone. Straightforward chance. Pad then bat. And straight in the hands of Jar Wardner at Silly Point. It's taken them 40 minutes, but Sri Lanka have now made the breakthrough. I think the fortunate thing from a Sri Lankan point of view, they haven't scored a lot of runs in that time. So the pressure again back on England. Change of ends for Murali. It's just turned, hit the front pad onto the bat. And a nice easy chance. Steve James not really getting a long way forward. His initial movement is back, and then when he comes forward, he only just covers the crease. So anything that turns has got the potential to hit the pad and then loop onto the bat, and that's exactly what happened there. So Murali strikes again. Tenth wicket in the match. This could be close. And it's a direct hit. And uh, umpire Eddie Nichols has called for the third umpire replay. Sri Lankan fielders certainly believe that it's out. They're very confident. It's a wonderful bit of fielding. Well, I'll say what I always say, that Alex Stewart looked in, but every time there's a direct hit, you usually find that you're in trouble as a runner. Once there's a direct hit, it's always a struggle. And I think he's struggling on his way to the dressing room. Now that's uh, a poor wicket to lose. Run outs at any time are not good. But in this situation where you're trying to save the game, a run out really is uh, something that uh, you should never have. Oh! Hold him. A beauty. Spun between bat and pad. That now will be lunch, but uh, not a very pleasant one for John Crawley and for the England team because they're five down now. Crawley bowled by Murleaderin right on the stroke of lunch for 14. And again, the flight has done him. Really threw that one up. John Crawley stood where he was, caught with his feet on the crease, and it really did spin past the bat. And has hit the stumps, and that's a major blow for England. The bowler's absolutely delighted, and well he might be. He's bowled superbly this morning. Great flight, lots of spin, and England are in deep trouble. Oh, that's good! LBW. LBW, first ball after lunch. Ben Hollyoak has gone. And a hat trick in line for Matthias Murlitteran. It uh, may well have been the top spinner. It was certainly a ball of full length, and it's six down. Well, the worst possible moment for uh, Ben Hollyoke. And uh, I'm not sure that that didn't touch the inside edge of the bat from Ben Hollyoke. But uh, nonetheless, David Shepherd are judging him LBW. of 
shouts there and uh, with full justification as well because another wicket has gone down Dominic Cork perhaps the back of the bat put by Calavit uh, Arana of uh, Muralidran for eight attempting the sweep and sweeping with the spin 200 test match wickets for Muralidran One hundred and twenty-seven for eight now. Salisbury goes for Duck over W to Murlederen. Well, it's turning into a bit of a procession. And uh, umpire David Shepherd feeling as though that's uh, straight enough to be given out. Turned an awful long way. And the keeper's uh, dancing down the leg side. inside edge onto the pad ramp for cash goes and uh, now it looks for all the world like a Sri Lankan victory ramp for cash out for 42 another good innings from him <laughs> bowl him bowl him behind his pads I suspect that might have been the leg break because uh, it was either that or the top spinner and it was very well bowled if it was a leggy coming in from the rough outside the right hander's leg stump made an awful clatter well, there certainly was a clatter but that's nothing to uh, the noise made by the Sri Lankan fielders now that they've bowled out England for 181 and Sri Lanka now need 36 to win don't really think you're going to stop Sri Lanka from getting the target. Nicely struck and uh, four runs. <laughs> oh, oh, look that. at that, that's wonderful. Six runs. Well, this is... <laughs> A great shot. Jaya Surya decided that he's not going to muck around here. No, it's a fierce hit. You don't see too many square cuts for six. Not on a big ground like the oval. Both feet off the ground. But the most remarkable straight. And there it is. Winning runs for Sri Lanka. And it is a splendid victory. Matuna Ranatunga won the toss, put England in. They made over 400 and still Sri Lanka won. That is a really good win, a top class victory. And that's the way it all finished. Sri Lanka winning by 10 wickets, their first ever victory in a test match in England. A wonderful effort. England 445 and 181 all out were beaten by Sri Lanka 591 and 37 for no wicket. And the Cornhill man of the match, Mataya Muralidharan, and a sensational performance from him. The fifth best figures in test match cricket in the history of the game.